turns out that I, I think I think I now know what the uh, what the I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> so basically, uh, what I wanted to say is what I wanted to say is that basically, right? There are two hundred fifty-six grayscale values. <laughs> so so let's start with that. Then there, are, there there's RGB color, which is which. Uh, all right, so that's two hundred fifty-six cute. Cute, yes. But then there's a, but then the image is two hundred fifty-six by two hundred fifty-six. So that has so it's two hundred fifty-six to the fifth power. That's what you were saying before. No, but that's I I I. Two hundred fifty-six cubed is the number of colors per pixel. Actually, no, that I I found a mistake in there. <laughs> I, I found a mistake in there because it turns out that all right, so basically two hundred fifty-six cubed. That uh, well, how many bits is that? So two hundred fifty-six is two to the eight. Yes. All right, so that's actually a butt. That's a butt. <laughs> all right, and then so the but then this all to the power of <laughs> hang on. So that's actually right because there's pixels and there's. Uh, how many pixels are there? 256 square. Oh, uh, oh, but this has to be cubed, right? And then, and then, and then square. No, not s square. It's then to the power of 256. So that's to the power of. <laughs> I'm just going to do the 2 to the 8 with the thing again. That's the total right. number of possible 256 by 256. Yeah, yeah. 256. <laughs> 256 cubed to the power of 256 squared. Uh, so, so how many bits is that? <laughs> so how many bits is that? So, well, let's find out. So that's 2 to the 8. All right, so how many bits is that? All right, so that's already 8 bits cubed. So that's another 3 bits. So, so we got to multiply this by 3. And then this is another, well, then actually I just gotta, I, I just gotta raise this to the power of, hang on, so this is, uh, uh, no, this is just times. Yeah. And then, hang on, so in times, wait. Right, so basically there are pixels there, but then if you, that's multiplied by another 256 squared. Because, right, because mm -hmm. there are 256 pixels, so this is multiplied by another 256 squared. I calculated that. Simon, will you make, will you make a video on this when you get back home to well, your home? Well, <laughs> so yes, we but actually, <laughs> I just wanted to notice <laughs> something. Uh, I just wanted to notice something. Make a video on this later, but actually, I'm gonna uh, just show you this. So, how many bits is that? That is one five seven eight and two eight six four. That's the size of so and two to the power of that. That's how many possibilities. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and and which. And so which is it, it's actually really phenomenal because we don't think about the scale mm -hmm. of the possibility. Of, we, you know, we work with images so often, and it just seems so sort of like crazy how many possibilities there are. But oh, this, no. the scale of these numbers are just unimaginable. I can't even like think in those sizes. Right? Oh, no. If we were to actually write that number out, yeah, you would need you would need like a fancy only, calculator and, and to actually be able to do that. There's only uh, there's only uh, uh, one thing I want to mention. Actually, the 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 size of an image is normally something uh, much smaller than as many bits, right? So right, much smaller. The reason why is that's, because that's the world of of every possible image that you could ever make in the entire universe. Yeah, but actually, so just one of those is a much smaller amount. No, no, actually, no. That's not what I'm saying. The, Im the image is actually 
that means that an image has to be uh, the the size of the image has to be about this many bits, but it's actually much smaller. Why? Because actually uh, there is it's something called a compression algorithm. Ah, okay. The uh, the idea is that uh, the idea being that uh, one little groups of pixels like this group of pixels and this group of pixels are very kind of similar to each other. And so and so you only really have to record this color and right. this color. Right. And so basically and, and and so that compresses the image. Right. And in a way the feature extractor is something like a compressor because it's taking the larger image and converting it down into a thousand numbers. And in fact, you know JPEG, all these JPEG compression and other compression algorithms are essentially trying to like find smaller amounts. But then when you go to re-display the image, it's decompressing it so you can see all those pixels. You, you wouldn't really be able, you can't, the neural network doesn't really work so nicely in reverse. But when you see all of those kinds of things that people are uh, publishing about um, like um, neural networks that are sort of dreaming or generating images, in a way that is the backwards process. So. Uh, if you, if we, with this thing that we started with, if you take, you take the full image and you boil it down to a thousand numbers, well, could you run that algorithm in reverse? Start with some random amount, random set of numbers, and get, and get an image out of that. And that's what, that's deep, it's like a deep decompression. And that's what, when you see a lot of these fancy, sort of fancy videos that people, are, neural networks are dreaming and walking through the big GAN space, Space of seen as sort of like a big GAN model, that's a generative adversarial networks. I mean, I've skipped a, a, a hundred thousand probably steps in between what we're doing today and that, but this is really the idea. It's super interesting. I think it's, I, I think actually, you know, I, I think actually it's, it's actually showing you the compressed image. I think it's actually showing you the compressed mm -hmm. image. Well, we're, we're seeing, you know, so, I, you know, I think we could, we could probably go on with this discussion for a very, very long time because it's an interesting question. Like, are we seeing, well, because, but, but in essence, we have to view all of the, we are, you're right that we are seeing the compressed image, but there's still a full pixel being drawn for every location. But, but, I, but, but it is a good point, and I think but we, we could true. argue it for a long time. But it isn't true that the compressed image is like a totally random image. Right. What it can't compress an image is right. if something like a totally random image, right. which is not an image that you can see. Right, because it can't find the similarities. Yeah. And, so, and so you normally actually see compressed images. So does anybody, yes, um, yeah. Yeah.